Welcome to Andrew's Cannabis Reviews. Today, we have a strain that I have only found once. I'm talking Granny Smith. This one is, it happens to be from Theory Wellness. That's where I happened to find it. And I only got it in these, these small little dense little mugs. I'll be honest with you, but that smell. Let me grab a little piece out of here for you. These small little dense little nuggets of... Maybe it's a kid of this flower. I'll tell you though, that smell. Sweet. The sweetness. Sorry y'all, we're doing a late video here, so uh, Hashtag random fucking noises here. Cool, 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 cool. So, the stats on Granny Smith. We are looking at a 16.3, but I can tell you the flavor profile might pump this one up a notch. That apple flavor. Oh, it's... It tastes like the aftertaste of apple pie. Like a nice apple pie. Like, minus this... Like, I know there's a cinnamon apple pie. Probably not big in there. I get it. I understand. But, that subtle after, like, aftertaste that you get from, from eating, like, a really, really good apple pie... That's, that's really what you're getting with this. And the effects are uh, they're quite nice. I've had one bond of it so far on this lovely, lovely Tuesday. Let's, uh... <clears throat> you know what? Nah. Y'all didn't come for that. Y'all didn't come for that. Y'all came to see this. Might be my favorite smoking mechanism at the moment. Mm. Mm. Oh, that nice apple taste. I'll tell you, if I ever find this stuff in, in a dart pod, I might buy three, cause like, got a flavor profile. <coughs> <coughs> this might hands down be one of my favorite flavor profiles I've ever had on a, on a flower before. Like, you guys know me, I'm, I'm a citrus kind of berry kind of fan, tropical flavor kind of fan, you know? Maybe sweet, you know, on occasion floral. But damn, this apple flavor is dirty. It's so good. Like, if you can get your hands on some Granny Smith. Dry mouth, though. It dries you out like a motherfucker. <sighs> like, let me tell you, now it dries, it dries that shit out hard. hard. It is a... Right, I believe the theory... <laughs> I believe the theory at Theory Wellness is that they don't list it. It's a hybrid. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't say if it's an indica or a, or a sativa. So I'm going to say it's a hybrid because honestly, it does give you that full, uh, that full kind of effect. It's a very, very, very nice cannabis. I'm talking like 9 out of 10. Maybe a 10 out of 10. This one's a low THC. But I promise you cultivators can get this Granny Smith up to like a 19. Like a 19. I'm not asking for even a 20. But I mean, if you can get this 16.3, 17.7 for the cannabinoid profile, little THC, little, little, T, little THCA and little THC. But like, oh my god. Whew. If you can get it, get your damn hands on it. And if they can make that 19, if you can break that 20 mark, easily a 10 out of 10. Easily a 10 out of 10. This is this is one of those strains that if I see it, I get it. It's rare. I have only seen it around the area this many times. And I'm an idiot and only bought a fucking eighth of it. But you know what? It's always safe to only buy an eighth of something you never had before. Because you don't want to get stuck with a quarter of weed that you're like, nah. You know, nobody needs nobody needs the Mitch McConnell a whole bunch of weed at their house. Nah, this isn't helping. Nah, this isn't helping. Nah. 
No one needs that shit. So buy an eighth. Fuck, buy a gram if you have a chance to. And then just go back the next day and buy a quarter if you really like it. One time I bought a fucking, almost a full ounce of Tahitian punch. <sighs> That's a glorious couple of weeks, let me tell you. Three or four weeks that shit lasted me. <sighs> I do miss Tahitian punch. It's nice to have like a reserve of like one of your favorites around. Speaking of one of my favorites, who knows if that one cracks the top ten. F top five. Top five. Top five? Comment. Comment on this video and any other video if you want to see it be a top five or a top ten strings of all time. What would you guys prefer? Top five or top ten? Your call. Or to quote Dane Cook, who I'm sure was quoting somebody else. Your move, holy man. Uh, no, it's been a long time since... No, it's not too soon for a Dane Cook joke. Don't say that. No. That was over a decade ago. All right? With the exception of, like, Pearl Harbor and, like, September 11th, things get funny after about 10 years. Like, there are exceptions to everything, like Holocaust, things like that. Obvi. Like, those things are not funny. But, like, after, like, 10 years, you know, like, even, like, the Kramer shit would probably be, be kind of funny. You know? It's like, oh, That idiot. Like, yeah. Who the fuck knows? But after, like, 10 years of this, I don't know. McConaughey rolling boogers in his fingers, talking in a Lincoln. Is it a Lincoln? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a limit. Always roll on a booger. Seriously, watch those commercials. You'll never be able to unsee it. If you watch like, a Lincoln commercial with Matthew McConaughey, and he's just sitting there, and he's just talking. Just talking about the car and how great the car is. And, All right, this car is wonderful. And he's just sitting there, and he's rolling a booger. <laughs> the whole goddamn time. I'm just, he's just rolling a booger. I swear, I swear, watch that commercial again. Any of them. He just... Rolling a booger. Just rolling a booger. All right, all right. Just rolling a booger. <laughs> this is why I was, this is why I recorded tonight because I'm, I'm pretty fucking high and I'm hoping to be entertaining if I'm honest with you. This Granny Smith man, it's only a 16, but it's got it's got that nice balance. Twisted my arm enough. You twisted my arm enough. We'll go from the pipe. Get that real flavor profile. You guys, you guys know. You guys really know me. I'm telling you, if you guys get an opportunity to give this stuff a try. If you ever had Granny Smith, or if you like live near, or, like in Massachusetts and you live nearby a dispensary, you're like out east or like somewhere even locally that I've just never heard of or haven't tried, which would be fun in between. But if you know of any legal ways, legal ways, okay, don't be, don't, don't be writing anything in comments about my buddy grows this. Uh, if you're gonna gift it to me, I'm happy to accept. But I will not be purchasing anything from anybody by the dead dispensary. Obviously. So. Um, I tried fixing this light for like five minutes. It's like three feet above my phone. Right? Just chill. Like double tripod game shit. Right? Just chill like a fucking villain. Not double tripod. That's gotta be. Still, I look up a little bit, and I got, I got these big old eyeballs. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of high. <coughs> That's all right. Because it's, uh, it's late. Okay, you got me. I recorded this video on Monday night. Just talking about it. I got this, and I don't really want I just... I really wanted to explore it because I picked it up a couple of weeks back and I hadn't tried it yet. Because like if you open a finger bottle, they have those little seals on the top. So you gotta like pop the freshness. It's like opening a peanut butter jar, right? You wanna wait until you need it to pop over that last part. Once you pop that part, that's it. The 
freshness begins to seep. Seep. It's a weird fucking word. Why did I use that word? Who the fuck knows? Um, but yeah. Yeah. So, like, I didn't even smell it. And then all of a sudden, bam. And I was like, well, I gotta try this shit. <gasps> and I was taken aback. I was taken aback by the sweet perfume of apple orchard. Met with the flavor profile of apple pie. Dancing on the sunset. So I was like, fuck it, I'll make a video. <laughs> Tell you guys how good it is. So I think it's, uh... Pretty goddamn good. Low THC content, I mean, mid THC content. Like if, if a 16 will do it for you, then uh, why haven't you gotten this before? Like, why aren't you looking for this? You should be, because it's fucking delicious. If you listen closely, you can establish what kind of music you listen to. And it's usually one of three things. You're here past love, man. It's like you honestly care. Um, yeah. It's either polka, Disney, or like movie scores. Like Jurassic Park, or Star Wars, which like, don't get me wrong, when that shit first started, you know, first started happening, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's Jurassic Park. So there's going to be some other music. You guys have been listening to that the whole video. But if you're here until about the 12-minute mark, you'll uh, you'll be able to know why. Because the uh, copyright rules. And uh, God forbid the YouTube algorithms pick up that shit in the background. I am not using that in my video. That is my neighbors who crank music all the time. I told you guys it was one of the three. And then it went, ba 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 Jurassic Park. And like I said earlier, for the for the first little while, it was kind of like living in a movie, you know, where it's like, oh shit, I got some background, I got some background music. You know, I'll be honest with you, mowing the lawn to Jurassic Park in the background, as a thing. But after two years of <laughs> and letting it go, and a whole new world, and being their fucking guest. I don't want to get copyrighted, but you know what I'm fucking talking about. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing all the, the, the same shit. Like, I want to just like, is it rude? Comment down below if you're here at the, at the at the 13, 14 minute mark in this video. You're a fucking legend. Um, so I uh, thank you because you're the shit. Like you, you make me real happy. Especially if you're subscribed. Because, like, I got 25 subscribers now. Yay, 25. It could be more by the time this video goes up. It seems like every time I upload one video, you know, a couple days later I get more subscribers. So, you know, could get a pop tomorrow before this one goes up. Yeah. Hopefully one day it doesn't matter. The point is, we're getting there. You know? It's, it's, it's slow, it's steady, but, but I'm... I'm we're getting there. I have no idea where I was going with the train of thought. Cool. Oh, the gnats be awake. Yar. By the way, when I get super high, I just do random impressions. It's a good thing. That I've just kind of like always done since I was like a teenager. Where I would just start talking like somebody else. And then people would be like, what this guy doing? He's fucking crazy. Why Why is he talking like that? I can tell you. It's because of cowbell. You know. It, whenever I quote that one scene in Pulp Fiction, I don't know, I'll always do that accent. Your dad wore this watch up his ass for 10 years. When your dad died of dysentery, I took the watch and I wore this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass for 10 years. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Although, if you're too young, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, uh, 
Pulp Fiction's like alright. Alright, here's my rapid fire movie reviews for you guys. Because honestly, I'm just at this point, I'm just chilling like a fucking bell and I'm high and if I'm gonna have these fucking thoughts, I might as well have these fucking thoughts on camera. Fuck it, right? You guys are my friends. Y'all are my friends. At least I think you guys are my friends. Aren't you guys my friends? That's nice. It's nice to have friends. No, I'm just, it's okay. I just pictured uh, my co host just being like, people are gonna think that you're like this lonely stoner guy who just like spends time with nobody and like wants to live like in the mountains or some shit. I just be like, no. I just like telling jokes. <laughs> so, what's up the other day? Asks me. Hey, Dad, I'm curious. Because we were watching Falcon of the Winter Soldier. Spoiler alert, there's, there's like gunshots every once in a while in that movie. So my eight-year-old son says, hey, Dad, what does it feel like to get shot? And I was like, well, oh, my God, what the fuck was the, what the fuck was this, oh, my God, oh, my God, what the fuck was I just talking about? I had health issues also today, and I made the life so before. Oh, my God, there was, like, a really funny fucking story that went on with that. The husband is shot. Oh, he asked me what it, what it felt like to be shot. And I was like, I knew a great... Oh my god, it was a fucking fictional character. Who the fuck was it? Oh my god. <gasps> That's the fucking story. So I go... Right, and my son says, I'm so sorry, guys. I have, I have issues, so... Don't mind me. The point is, um, so my son asked me, like, we're watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier, right? And somebody gets shot. And he was like, Dad, what's it going to get shot? And I looked at him and I was like, Well, a great man who once, had, once fought in a war, and he was running through the jungle, and he held something bit him. And it turned out that he got shot in the buttocks. And I was like, What's the buttocks? And I was like, The buttocks is the butt. Like one of your one of your butt cheeks. And he was like, "Is it the like something bit him?" And I was like, "I highly doubt it. I imagine it probably hurts like a son of a bitch. I don't know. I've never been shot, and I recommend like avoiding that at all costs." He was like, "That seems fair." And I was like, "Yeah," but I compared it to Forrest Gump, and I thought it was pretty funny. Who died? Such a good fucking movie. Oh yeah. So my like, let's, let's just do like rapid fire movie reviews. Like that, like everybody goes, oh my god, you have to see this movie because it's just thug. That's a classic, right? Okay, you want to hear a real fucking classic? That's a classic. Sadly, you want to know the classic? Shaun of the Dead. Not a lot of people have seen Shaun of the Dead. Paul, the alien movie. Not a lot of people have seen it. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. Probably one of the greatest films I've ever, ever made. Box office fucking bomb. Did terrible to the point. You guys want to hear a fun fact? You know nobody owned the rights to It's a Wonderful Life for over two decades at one point. Like just recently, a fucking TV company bought the rights, but like it was just floating around out in the fucking world. They could have got them for a dollar. Not one fucking person for like twenty years was like, ah, it's worth it. Nah, I should have. It's one of my favorite movies. I swear to God, every once in a while, I'll just look up who owns random out old thing. Like, you know, a 50-year-old movie or a 70-year-old movie. And if it says public domain, technically it means the copyright is ran out. And it means that the public domain owns it, so we get, we, we all own it. So, like, some shit could be free to you. And, then, like, Congress, the Library of Congress actually has, like, a website where you can go and, like, watch all this old shit and watch all the old movies. True story. Don't get me wrong. I paid $18 for this wonderful life on iTunes. And then I learned two weeks later that CBS had just acquired the fucking White Swords Wonderful Life from nobody. And I was like, well, that's nice. That's nice. Gotta be the Big Bang Theory star somehow. I watched that shit on, I binged that shit to the end. 
keep up on it by three years. It's a long ass video, Jesus. I'm 20 minutes in, if you're, you're still chilling here, you have a very particular set of skills. <laughs> if you've seen Ted 2, right, in the comments, just raise your hand, okay? Just raise a hand, right? Just put your hand up in the air. If you've seen Ted 2, or like, thumbs up. Well, that's fucking unnecessary. Yeah, throw like a thumbs up emoji. Or like something with a hand. Like a waving hand or some shit. Now count as your hand being raised. Let me know if you've seen Ted 2. Ted 1 and Ted 2. Because, uh, you know, I've been led to believe that the cereal is made exclusively for children. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tricks are for kids. That's what they say. Throw the box. I'd like to buy this cereal. Yeah, well, uh, you are welcome to do that, sir. It's so fucking fun. Just watch that dude. Hilarious. Not like one of the old time kids. Okay. All right. Um, this has been fun. Showing with you guys. Enjoying some Granny Smith. It's so fucking good. All right, you talk me into it. One more bond ramp, and then one more pipe for you guys. Again. Oh, lights! Twenty-two oh. minutes in. Well, oh, man, I don't know what they're talking about. Man. Listen how Carl will do not gonna give me a treat. That's gonna be a trick for you, bitch. Huh? Oh no. If you guys have ever seen the movie A Crazy Nights, I do a ridiculous fucking impression of um, the character named Why Do You Do Mall. That guy. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> but I'm not quite that high yet. So. This one's for you. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, live life to the highest. <sighs> Fuck that one. This one's for you. That's a quality rip right there. That's for my subs. The people will hear the 24 minute mark. The legend. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Alright. Y'all have fun and come back now real soon. Alright. Thank you guys for watching so much. Have yourselves a good one.